Hello, today I will show you how I do Operation Sea Lion in Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger. My plan is actually quite similar to this picture I took from the internet. I just added those two flags and the logo. So I have two armies doing naval invasions, one to Portsmouth and one to Dover and also paratroopers which drop behind Dover and also into it. Also, this video tutorial is aimed for the beginners or average players of the Hearts of Iron 4. I consider myself as an average player. This all might look now a bit messy, but bear with me. Erwin von Witzleben is going to do the naval invasion to Portsmouth, and Sepp Dietrich will do the invasion to Dover. Kurt student, Barat drops behind the enemy lines and into Dover. I have also secured Scandinavia and formed Reichskommissariat Norwegen. My navy has been safe and sound in the Baltic Sea, but now it's time to send them to do search and destroy to the English Channel. I'm actually hoping for an easy conquest because I destroyed many United Kingdom troops in France. It might be that the paratroopers would be just enough, but let's do the naval invasions just for the fun and for the roleplay. We will get back into action in just a moment. I just have to make sure that nobody is going to naval invade Italy and ruin my plans. Just a moment. Alright, so my paratroopers are landing perfectly and I'm starting to take ports for us. Now that we have secured Dover, I'm gonna bring Heinz Guderian to the British mainland and start blitzing through the Britain. I will also bring Rommel to the action since he is one of my best generals. So, the army of Erwin von Witzleben landed too much to the left from the Portsmouth. I don't know why, maybe I misclicked. It is risky to have so many divisions in one region, but I think we can manage this. Well, this Operation Sea Lion was a success. I don't think that the uh, United Kingdom can do any kind of counterattack anymore. Now it's time to move my air force to the southern England. And my air force probably looks a bit fucked up and it is. I really don't care about the air forces in this game. I just click them and order them to do something. Same goes for the navy. My forces have created a pocket around uh, London. The front lines can be quite confusing ever since the release of the Waking the Tiger. Even the land forces are now confusing to me, which is kind of funny. Let's destroy this London pocket and move our air forces a little bit. What? How is this London pocket still here? Time to die, United Kingdom. Well, alright, that's it. Mission accomplished.
Now, there's certainly many better ways to do Operation Sea Lion, but hey, this one works also. Also, if you don't want to fight against the United States, then you can try one sneaky freaky tactic. Start justifying fascist party popularity in United States in, in the very beginning of the game. And they should be fascist country by the year 1940. Also, if you do Operation Sea Lion fast enough, the United States might not even interfere, even if they are a democratic country. But that's about it. Thank you for watching and please, if you like this, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I also understand if you don't want to. I have a very fucking annoying voice. Bye bye.